<laughs> oh wow, there's the white cliffs of Dover. I keep pinching myself. I did it, I'm here. I'm in France. <laughs> On my motorbike. This was what I was dreaming of. It's exactly this. It's everything I dreamed it would be. Holy shit. So, it's, uh, it's not the next morning. In my determination to set off straight away, I never thought about booking the ferry. So as a top tip for people, I could have got on the ferry the very next morning. So I arrived here at uh, just after midnight and um, went straight to sleep. Got up the next day, which was yesterday. Tried to book a ferry for yesterday and it would have been double the price literally double the price so I thought it actually it works out okay because I set off so quickly there's a lot of stuff I didn't look into like <laughs> like uh, making sure I've got my insurance documents printed off and uh, things like that I brought my printer with me I'm glad I brought my printer with me because I'm using it already and I need to check things like you know what currents do they use what side of the road they drive on what language do they speak what food do they eat? Do they shake hands like we shake hands in the normal way? Or is there like a, a weird way of doing it when you get into France? I don't know, but I do know now. I didn't I didn't know yesterday. So we're on our way now to the port. We're leaving behind a very, very wet England. And I can't say that I'm sorry about that. I'm very nervous, actually. I've realized that I have really been putting this back subconsciously nerves for some reason have got the better of me i don't know why but it's been yeah getting more and more into my comfort zone i think it's because it's taken such a long time to get here now to actually step over that finish line thing is uh it's a bit weird a bit weird <laughs> oh wow there's the white cliffs of dover Lost already. Oh, oh, can't believe I'm in the wrong place already. Hi, I always make it difficult for myself. Thank you very much. Bye now. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, mate. So basically... Honestly, it's so complicated. I'm sure this signage could be made easier, you know? <laughs> it's just a <laughs> Trouble with traveling on your own is there's no one else to blame. Morning. I've got lost three times already. I've only just driven around here. Brilliant, thank you. Okay, Paul. <laughs> I think I'm in the right place. So it looks like all these drivers are giving this fella a bribe. So I didn't give him a tenner, so might get a shit position now. It's five past eight, we don't set sail until about five past ten, so I'm on early. Well, it's forcing me to go up here. I want to talk to him. It says three ton and four ton. Well, that's the strangest thing, because I've not had to had any inspection of the van at all, any tests or anything. I guess that must happen in France, eh? And it looks like I want an earlier ferry, because I arrived so early. So I thought I'd cross it at 10 o'clock, and it's now 8.25. We're off. I can't be in France. Can I? Have a nice trip, it says. First roundabout. These speed bumps, my cars look turn. I complain about ours in Britain, I'll never do that again. Don't you know? Sunshine! I'm not calling you sunshine, I'm saying look, sunshine. So as you probably know, in France they have uh, road tolls. Not every road has that. It's possible for me to have done this journey right the way down France without driving on any toll roads. And actually, when I've looked at it, the difference would have only been about an hour for the whole journey. So it's not that much of a difference. I'm surprised actually, it's only an hour. I'm really surprised. Mileage is about the same as well, it said. So I don't really know. Normally, I, I wouldn't do the toll thing, but I've kind of done it as a proof of concept, really, because what I've done is I've got one of these boxes. Because I'm a right-hand vehicle, the tolls where you pay or touch your payment card will always be on the left-hand side. And so 
it's a real pain in the ass. I've put a link in the description as to where I got mine from. Okay, I'm nearly at my destination. I've got 33 kilometers to go, and it says I've got 53 miles left in the tank. That should be loads, shouldn't it? So I calculated that by the time I got where I was going, I'd have 30 miles left in the tank. Anyway, now I've passed all the petrol stations and I'm out in the countryside, weaving and going over hills and stuff like that. It's completely changed. Now it's saying I've not got enough, but there's nothing I can do apart from keep going. So keep fingers crossed for you. Right, so we're um, 8.6 kilometers away. What I need is no hills and no windy roads five minutes away i don't want to do this again it's not <laughs> i don't enjoy it it's not fun we made it i'm here and it's the first morning look at this it's beautiful so i'm at this free air that's provided by the local town and it's fantastic over in the distance there you might be able to see uh, big yellow here's a toilet block and there's a fresh water point tap here where you can fill up for free thank you Maisie. Hello. Hello, Lizzie. That's it. I think they're in. So, we're going for a country ride. You get some fuel first. I've got some snacks, I've got water. Spent all last year locked away in a garage in Halifax, building this around this. And while I was doing it, this is what kept me going, this dream. And I'm right in that dream now. I keep pinching myself. <laughs> it's real life, it's really happening. It's unbelievable. So look at this, I haven't even shown you yet. What a spot, eh? France has just been uh, amazing so far for uh, park-ups. They've provided this with a bin look. It's designated, so there's a parking sign there. This beautiful little village, Hamlet. Oh, that's better already. Oh, I'm cooling down straight away, honestly. I think in the future I'll just wear my mankini while I'm getting the bike out. I just put my gear on as I'm ready to leave. Sigur. I'm getting the R's better now. Sigur. 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 I hope they take card by the way. It's quite a wonderful thing is the motorbiking community, how are they? Everybody acknowledging, doesn't matter what bike you're on, it's the fact that you're on a bike which means you're in the club. So look here, you see, it's a little park up there for people. That looks really nice, doesn't it? I did it, I'm here. I'm in France. <laughs> On my motorbike. I think it's self service from looks it. Oh, I hope I can do it with my phone. Holy shit. Why don't I bring my card? What an idiot not taking my card. You just get used to using your phone all the time, don't you? Well, I do, believe me. It's just been one <laughs> catalogue of errors after another. So anyway, we started on this trail. We're not going to get very far, I don't think, because uh, we're running out of day. Back my dreams in a camper van Hit the road with a master plan Motorbike in the back Gonna ride that dirt track 
years of work let me in now i'm chasing the thrill without fear so there's a question i wonder if i've got too much pressure in my tires because they're up to full pressure be interesting to hear from you in the comments to let me know how much of a difference it makes really Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. All of last year, when I was locked away in that garage, this is exactly what I was dreaming of. This was what I was dreaming of. Just this, exactly this. It's, <laughs> it's everything. Whoop. <laughs> it's everything I dreamed it would be. Oh wow. What a first experience of uh, going off-road on my own in France. These trails are just wonderful. Nice and easy for me. Nothing, so far anyway. If there's anything bad comes up, I'm just going to turn around. Uh, I've got to make sure I don't go too far because I've got to remember I've got to go back. <laughs> It'd be very easy to forget that and just keep going. Right, I'm going to attempt to be sensible, it's unusual for me, but go back because it's uh, it's gone four o'clock now and I don't want to get myself overtired. I am injured still. Home oh, sweet home. Oh. 